Hello everybody. Today I'm going to explain what is natural frequency and how to determine the natural frequency of an object. So before we begin, let's discuss what are the types of oscillations. So there are two types of oscillations. One is free oscillation and the other is forced oscillation. So what is free oscillation? When a system is given an initial excitation, the object or the system tends to oscillate by itself without the need for any external force. Such a system exhibits free oscillation. Best example would be a simple pendulum. Now when I give the pendulum an initial push, it tends to oscillate by itself without the need for any other external force. Such a system is uh, free oscillation. So now what is force oscillation? Force oscillation is the exact opposite. So when the object is you know, given an external periodic force, it tends to oscillate under the influence of this external periodic force. Such a system is said to exhibit uh, force oscillation. Best example would be a swing. When you push a swing, you know, you need to continuously keep pushing the swing so that it keeps swinging back and forth. Now, what is natural frequency? Well, we can take insights from free oscillation. So the frequency at which the object performs the free oscillation is called the natural frequency of the object or the system. So in this case, the frequency at which a simple pendulum moves back and forth without the you know, aid of any external force is the natural frequency of the simple pendulum. Now for objects, let's say we have a beaker filled with water, what will be the natural frequency? Well, when you give it initial excitation, like an initial impact, the frequency at which the, you know, the whole object starts vibrating back and forth is the natural frequency of this object. All right, now let's uh, talk about like the methods to determine the natural frequency of an object. Let's consider this uh, beaker for further examples and what are, the, what are the available methods to determine the natural frequency of this beaker. So there are three methods. The first method is to whack it using a hammer, like impact using a hammer, and use an accelerometer, uh, a triaxial sensor. You know, you mount the sensor on it and you impact it you get the, you know, you capture the response and you plot a frequency spectrum and you'll uh, get the natural frequency of this object. This is the first method. The second method is you replace the accelerometer with a microphone. So what you'll do is you will again impact the beaker. Well, in, in this scenario, now you'll capture the sound emitted by the beaker. So you'll capture it using a microphone and then process and then get the frequency spectrum and thus you'll obtain the natural frequency. The third case is a different one. You actually play using a speaker the different sounds and you mount an accelerometer on the surface of the beaker. So when you play, uh, you know, different sounds, you actually sweep, you know, a certain, some from like a lower frequency to a very high frequency. And at one particular frequency, the, vib uh, the accelerometer will experience uh, lots of vibration, which is in fact the natural frequency of that beaker. Of all the above discussed three uh, ways to determine the natural frequency, the second method is the most inexpensive and the approximate way to determine the natural frequency of an object. So all you need is a hammer or any kind of, uh, you know, object or like a rod to just impact the uh, object in interest and you need uh, your mobile phone uh, because you need a microphone to record the sound and you need a frequency uh, plotter like a frequency response plotter which is nothing but a spectrograph uh, and you have app so you can just uh, simply download the app and capture the frequencies in real time so now we're going to use this uh, second method to determine the natural frequency of a steel beaker Hey there, this is a uh, spectrographic app, uh, so this is uh, the y-axis represents the amplitude uh, in decibel and the x-axis represents the frequency. Uh, well, uh, the frequency is in the logarithmic scale, so this band represents 0.1 kilohertz, this band represents 1000 hertz, and this band represents 10,000 hertz. So you can see the frequency spectrum as I'm speaking, this is in real time. So now I wish to determine the natural frequency of this steel beaker. So I'm going to impact it uh, using a spoon and then we're going to determine the natural frequency of this beaker in real time 
uh, you know, by capturing the sound emitted by the beaker, uh, you know, by the microphone of this uh, app, and then it'll be able to, you know, plot the natural frequency in real time. All right, let's get started. All right, so we can observe that, you know, this band is picking up, meaning like uh, the natural frequency of this speaker is around a thousand hertz. All right, so let's check, check it once again. And, and as you can observe, no matter how hard I hit or how lightly I hit, it's still always, you know, one thousand hertz. Alright, thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Have a great day.